Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Gold segment, that's off. this is part 33 in this episode. We're going ahead and we're going to have our first episode inside the Kanto region, as last episode we did go ahead, have ourselves a successful Pokemon League challenge. We went ahead, unfortunately, we did lose our Mega Slowbro, so this is absolutely a Pokemon that we need to put in the box as much as it pains me to do so, but fresh start. We're going to be heading to Kanto this episode, I believe. Last episode, we were told to go ahead, speak with Professor Elm after defeating the Pokemon League Champion and all that business, which we did. So, let's start things off completely anew. Carlos, there you are. I called you because I have something for you. See, it's an SS ticket. Thankfully, that does absolutely confirm we're going to Kanto. I was a little unsure if we were going to have to go and do a random quest or something to, uh, beforehand to go and get this ticket. But nope, it's just given to us means we're going on a boat trip this episode. The ship departs from Olivine City, but you knew that already, Carlos. After all, you've travelled all over with your Pokemon. Give my regards to Professor Oak and Kanto. So can I use a PC here? No, I can't. Okay, we do have Fly, I believe. Or do we? Did we teach Fly to Rainbow Guy, or did we not? It's been two weeks, okay? I have to remember my team again, because the reason why it's been so long since this episode came out is... I had like a surprise trip to the dentist, because for those of you that have been on this channel for a while, you know that my wisdom teeth have been coming in for well over two years now. We finally had some progress, okay, the tooth next to my wisdom tooth had to come out to make room for the wisdom tooth and all that business. So thankfully we were at a reasonably convenient time for me to take a little bit of a break, let my jaw heal up so I can start spouting my nonsense again. And uh, now that that's all healed up, I can go back to doing what I was doing. I would have continued to just go ahead and upload a bunch of Beat Saber videos, but I tried not to move my head around too much with the VR headset on, because, you know, it's probably not the best idea when your jaw's trying to heal. And then I played anyway and just didn't record it, so I guess that was a waste of my time. But either way, my jaw's better now, everything's good. This is the first, like, thing of progress towards my wisdom teeth. Ever. So. <laughs> Pretty big milestone for me, and I'm pretty happy that uh, things are progressing smoothly. Welcome to the Fast Ship SS Aqua. Will you be boarding today? Um, actually, no, not just yet. I really hope I don't mess that up completely, but we should probably box Slowbro first. And I did forget about that. Sadly, this really hurts me to do, because Slowbro was without a doubt, in terms of ability, Slowbro had the best ability. Slowbro couldn't be crit, and that makes me so happy. Yet, yeah, it was a victim to my own stupidity. I didn't expect Lucario's moveset, even though it's a Pokemon that I've definitely used probably the most, honestly, which makes me sad. So we have to pick out a Pokemon, uh, which means we should probably go for a type that isn't a war type, seeing as we already have Gyarados. We don't have a good psychic type replacement because I'm not calling Smoochum a good replacement and I'm not calling Chingling a good replacement. They are terrible Pokemon and I don't want to use them. We could take a Legendary. Uh, we could take like a Pokemon that's already trained up like Glalie. That doesn't seem like a bad idea for the time being. Until we train up, for example, like Bagon, I think Bagon would be a really good addition. It would mean we have free flying types, which could mean we could get absolutely bopped to, say, a rock type. I mean, Glady's weak to rock anyway. I mean, is it that much worse? I think we just take a Salamence. I really do. I think we'll be taking a Salamence in the future. Or we take out something completely different and unexpected. But I don't really know what that would be. I mean, I guess we could take Mime Jr. if we really want to train that up. But for the time being, we'll keep Lely on our team. It's not trained up to the same level as the rest of our team, so it'll probably not be useful this episode, but it's there in a pinch, which I guess is good to have. So let's go ahead, board the ship. It'll be interesting to see if Kanto is any different to normal. Uh, I don't really remember secondary Kanto, I suppose is what we're going to call it. I don't really remember secondary Kanto all too well. Oh. Oh, did the ship crash? That that was a violent shake. I, I, I don't feel like that was a starting shake. That Oh. Oh no. Well, this all seems to check out as I remember. 
Whoa, excuse me, I was in a hurry. My granddaughter is missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. Okay. So this is the quest that we have to do to actually continue. Did I hear right? Your granddaughter is missing? It means we sailors should take the job. We'll find the girl in no time at all. You can trust us. You say that and then you'll all battle me. Okay, that's exactly how this always goes. And it sucks. Oh well, I'll be in my cabin in case you need me. Off he goes. Look at that. He can run. Okay, those are some legs right there. What is this? Looks like... What is this plant? Okay. Okay, fine, fine. Pretty sure we can heal up in that bed right there. Oh. Is there a PC in everyone's room? Oh, that's different. I kind of like that. So, I'm gonna skip over a lot of trainers in Kanto, I feel. And my reasoning for this is, if this isn't any different in comparison to normal Kanto, we kind of know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna keep the Nuzlocke in effect, that's for sure. But I am definitely gonna use the speed up more, because this is a secondary region, and while I don't Oh, but also the levels are a lot lower. That's that's a level 45 Growlithe. That's absolutely a reason to just go ahead and speed up, in my opinion. So, there's going to be gym battles. I won't speed up for those, but I imagine this is going to be a much shorter region in comparison to before. I could be completely wrong, but I imagine it's going to be a short region. I'm going to try and avoid a lot of legendaries as well, because I feel like we don't really need them. Are these the rivals that we had? Nothing beats a battle when I'm on my break. It, are these are these the lovey dovey rival battle? No? Just a random pair of ace trainers? Okay, just a cool couple. Fine. Raticate and Raticate. One of them has a dash. That's because it's a Lolan. Ooh. Wait. So we see the Alolan Raticate when we go to Kanto, where they wouldn't be a Lolan? Interesting. Okay. That's a bit weird. Uh, I guess we'll just fire blast the rat key and that'll be fine. I was a little bit worried I was gonna accidentally put the waterfall into my helmet right there, because I'm an idiot and uh, it's been a while since I've had to actually click buttons on this controller. Oh dear, that'd have been awkward. <laughs> that'd have been the worst way to lose a Pokemon. Just accidentally bop your own Pokemon. Oh dear. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. But still, level 42 uh, means we should honestly should we just put Glalie in front to try and get him back up on par in terms of level? Guess so. Don't see a reason why not. Hey kid, could I get you to look for my buddy? He's goofing off somewhere, that lazy bum. I want to go find him, but I'm on duty right now. Where was he again? Uh... It's been a while. It's been a while since I've had to do all of this stuff. I don't remember secondary Kanto all too well. I know that the gym order is different. Like, you don't start at Brock. You start at Surge, obviously, because that's where the boat comes off. So I remember that much. However, I don't remember a lot else. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where is this lazy bum? I thought there was a way to the left. Or is it just you? Yeah, I'm a sailor, all right. I wasn't goofing off. This cabin was vacant, so I just took a quick nap. Honestly, I could do have a quick nap right now. Ah, forget it. Let's battle. So, as he's a key element to the story... <laughs> I, I can't even pretend that's true. Is he going to have high levels? Makuhita, level 41. Uh... The answer to that is an overwhelming no, so we're just going to Mega Evolve and we're going to Dazzling Gleam. I honestly forgot my Glalie's moveset, because it's been a long time since I've used this Glalie. But yep, we have Dazzling Gleam, we are fine. Oh boy, put my memory to the test right here. Bot, one shot, nice and easy. Not even evolved. Definitely interesting. I imagine the gym battles will be a much higher level. I don't know if they're going to be a higher level than the Pokemon League. Because when you think about it, in a way they shouldn't be. 
then that's because the Pokemon League is the strongest trainers of that region. It would make sense that the gym leaders of the other region wouldn't quite be as strong as the top trainers from another. So, if we take this from like a lore standpoint, yeah, that makes obvious sense. If we talk about it from a gameplay perspective, that's terrible. <laughs> so we'll see. Crunch does not one-shot Corphish. A Corphish. Not a Crawdon. A Corphish. A Mega Glalie does not one-shot a Corphish. That's so sad. That makes me really sad. Oh dear. Alright, now we can go through here. Bada bing, bada boom. What are you doing? Oh, you're just seasick. Okay, well, uh, good luck, seasick dude. We're gonna completely ignore you. Good luck, my dude. Electabuzz. Yeah, we're gonna stay in. I shouldn't take these Pokemon too lightly, because they are kind of close in level to my Glalie, but at the same time... A large part of me has already considered the Nuzlocke thing successful, because we've beaten the Pokemon League. So maybe I... I just, I'm not really that worried. And then you're in here bothering the captain. Yeah, that's right. Captain, play with me, please. I'm bored. I want to play more. Hi, will you play with me? Oh, Grandpa's worried about me? I have to go. I have to find Grandpa. Anything here? Nothing. Disappointing. Thanks for coming along. Keeping that little girl amused was exhausting. Not even a, a HM01 cut for my troubles. Just kidding, I've already got it. Sorry, you're completely irrelevant, Captain. Uh, feels bad. Definitely feels bad. The seasick guy has actually completely disappeared. Oh, nope, I went to a different room. Wow, my short-term memory is completely shot. Holy. It's so gone. My memory. Help. <laughs> Have you found the girl? Oh, darn. That was supposed to be our job. Why would you say darn? What? You should be like, wow, thanks, you've saved me a job. Why have you gotten in our way? You were supposed to kidnap- Oh, because you're evil. Okay, that's- <laughs> that's a twist. Um, evil sailors. We were supposed to kidnap that little girl and ask for ransom. You always blow our plans, brat. Wait. Always? Wait. Yes, that's right. Oh, thanks, James. Now you blew our cover- Jesse and James? Oh, sorry. Jess and James? What? Oh well, since you blew our plans, I guess we'll have to teach you a lesson. Prepare to battle. So are you? Okay, you know what? I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> I actually thought Kanto was going to be so similar to the original, like, secondary Kanto, but this is completely different. Okay. Wh what is going on? Is the ship being bombed? What is happening right now? What the heck? And so, SS Aqua sinks to the bottom of the sea. Well, this was fun. What a... I thought I was going to come back to a nice long playthrough. Turns out we drowned, we're dead. Uh, that's the end of the playthrough. No, I'm just kidding. Seems like everyone got out of the ship safely, but... What about Carlos, Jess, and James? Wait, we were by the exit. What do you mean? There were people below here. James, you fall. James is just like, Mommy, Jip. James, no. James, I'm sorry. What happened? Oh, no. What? So, are we at the bottom of the sea? I mean, I have dive. So, I'm, I'm probably fine. How did the captain get out? He'd have had to walk past us. What? Is there, like, an emerge? Did they all go out of these windows or something? If so, then we should probably be underwater. I'm very confused as to how they got out, okay? I'm trying to work this out right now. I'd find it kind of funny if someone was, like, still in their room, just chilling. So what happens here? Nothing? What? What? Oh? We found a nest ball. Okay, well, that wasn't really what I was after as such. I was... Do I need to go to sleep for a while? That sounds really <laughs> ominous when I say it like that. Do I need to go to sleep for a while? Comfy bed, time to sleep. Okay, let's rest up and see if anything changes. Maybe that makes Jesse and James uh, wake up. Okay, well that door is blocked. I can't go out there. 
James is still saying mommy. James, you fall. Am I, am I actually trapped here? What is happening? What am I meant to find to get off this ship? There's nothing here. Is there like a clue on his desk? Maybe there's some kind of key in the drawers. Okay. Looks like not, oh, wait. What? No, come on. I actually thought I did something clever there. Why? No? There's no key in the drawers. So am I looking for a key now? Don't tell me I need to use the item finder. Please don't tell me I need to use the item finder. Oh no. Do we still have the item finder? It's a key item, right? I can't get I can't have put it away. Okay. Register. Ah, <sighs> time to look for a key, I guess. No response. Maybe I don't need the item finder. Maybe I need to let Jesse and James know that there's a key missing somewhere? Oh, they've moved. Aha. So are they just blowing the door down? Great, seems like we're trapped inside this ship in the middle of nowhere. What can we possibly do? Explain to me how this is all happening and what is going on. That'd be a great thing to do. James, what are you planning to do? I just bolted, okay. <laughs> I had no interest in that. J James, are you out of your mind? What were you thinking? What if the door opened a war rushed in? What if? <laughs> that would have been terrible. Huh? There's no water. Looks like we can reach a cave from out here. I guess you could knock on the door and try and like gauge by the sound if there's war outside. Plus there's windows like all around us. Let's go investigate, James. What am I investigating here? Archaic enclosure. I need strength. Do I have strength on a Pokemon? I have headbutt. I do have strength. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Oh. We found ourselves a max potion. Archaic enclosure? Where is... Where am I in terms of, like... The Kanto map. Am I going to start off near like... That sounds like the kind of area near Cinnabar. Right? That's where you get your fossils done. All that stuff. Am I going to pop out like below Cinnabar Mansion? It would make sense in a way. It's... It's... Out in the ocean. There's a possibility there. I'm kind of brainstorming right now. But there's a possibility for it I guess. Uh, this looks like a way... No, we can get through here. I was gonna say it looked like a way back, but no, we can get through. Okay. That is a way back. Okay, never mind. I, uh, should have just went with my first instinct. Where... Do I need to go? I really want to explore this place because I've never been in the archaic enclosure before. Funnily enough, this is all pretty new to me. Uh... Alright, so that loops back to here. Meaning I guess we can try dropping down this side. Oh? Where's this? Are we at- wait, the unknown ruins? Are we still in Johto? This is weird. I don't understand a single bit of this. But judging by the pictures, it seems that deep in this cavern, there is a legendary key to awaken a great power. Power that's able to cross land and time. Alright, you lost me. <laughs> Game, you lost me here. Now what? Oh, it's you again. So you want that key for the huge power? No way we'll let you. That power must belong to Team Rocket. It's time to sell this brat, because I hate having you around. Yo, can't we just be a team right now? Do we have to? Oh, you, never mind. You suck. That's fine. Uh, let's just Ice Beam you and... Honestly, we can probably just Thunderbolt you and still take you out. Never mind, I am very, very incorrect. Oh, no, 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 no,
All right, we're crunching and we're shadow balling. That splits our damage between physical and special. Both of these Pokemon outspeed. How did I miss Shadow Ball? How did I miss Shadow Ball? Counter. Bye, Glady. Is Glady dead? Glady's dead. I hate Wobbuffet so much. So, so much. Oh my god, I hate it. Well, that's a, that's a dead Pokemon right there. We're going to Mega Evolve our Gengar. Or not. Or not. Wait, didn't we Mega Evolve the Glalie? Wait, what just happened? How come I could click that twice? Game working is intended, what can I say? Okay. You know what? Yes, we lost Glalie. But I had a full intention of using Bagon instead anyway. So while I'm sad that we lost Glalie, I'm not overwhelmingly disappointed. I mean, I I can accept and move on pretty quickly from that. It still sucks though. Definitely still sucks though. I don't think we have to worry about anything else in this battle. No, we don't. Well, we lost Pokemon before we have to go up against a great power, so that's great. Why do you have to be in our way? We just want to rebuild Team Rocket. Is something wrong with that? Yeah. Yeah. But you're just a kid. You wouldn't understand. Let's blast off, James. Blast off where? At least show me the exit. Come on now, why you gotta be like that? What is this? Alright, white, yellow, orangey brown, um, grey, blue, white? I don't know if that's gonna have any impact on anything. Oh. We found the GS ball. I love this ball, but why? Oh. A level 60 Agron? Oh, I do not want to be in with this ho -oh. Nope, absolutely not. Absolutely not. In fact, I don't really want to be in with any of these Pokemon, but I guess we can go into Gyarados and Mega Evolve. Why did I get a GS ball? I mean, this works as a like perfect replacement. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not against using this as our replacement for Glalie. This is a very random encounter, though. Dragon Claws can do no damage. I completely know that. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to weaken this. I could probably just throw the ball. I guess they gave it to me for a reason. They must have. I'm just going to throw the GS ball and see what happens. Never mind. I don't have the GS ball. This Pokeball is a mystery. A master Pokeball maker should have a look at it. Oh, so I can't just catch this nice and easy like I was kind of hoping to. That's unfortunate. Is a waterfall going to take out this Agron? It's a very risky move to click. We're just going to Dragon Claw for a bit. Alright, he's half health. We're going to heal up. Just going to use a Max Potion to get them out of my inventory. I'm going to use another one because that crit and I don't like crits. Crits worry me. Uh, and we're going to throw Ultra Balls and see what happens. That is not looking particularly catchable. Okay. Okay. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm very confused. I don't know if I should understand what is happening right now or if I'm meant to be this confused. But uh, confusion is definitely happening. Its defense won't go higher. Meaning we could honestly probably... Do I not have five potions? I do. Uh, I do just want to catch you right now, not gonna lie, that would be really great if I could just, just... <sighs> I really don't want to run from this, but I'm not losing a Pokemon to it, that's for sure. Okay! 
I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> I don't like what's happening in front of me. Okay, we caught the Agron. Right, that's good, because that does fit as our encounter. Uh, Hoa gained some crazy stat bonuses right there. Got some plus fives. It claims a large mountain as its sole territory is mercilessly thrashes those that violate its space. Give a nickname. Uh, sure, yes, we nickname. I have to remember that I'm doing a Nuzlocke speed. It's been a little while. We're going to call you Leroy, and I'm not sure why. It's just... And you need, like, three Ys. You know what? You need four Ys. Now you need three Ys. There we go. Um, right. That was a thing. I don't know why we got that Akron. I am very confused. Also, I could have paralyzed it. That would have helped. Okay. Um, so can I not get another encounter in the enclosure? Is it just, just that? Vermilion City. So we still came out at the same place. Oh, this is a very different Vermilion City. What is this? You're more than welcome to browse our wares. We've got so many items. So many items, you say? I'll be the judge of that. Uh, you have high potions. That's basically all I wanted, to be honest. I mean, yeah, you, you've got, got a selection. I'll, I'll accept your stock. Thank you very much. Ultra Balls, uh, yep, give me a bunch of those. I would like as many as possible. Not a whole lot of interesting things there. Timok is no longer in Kanto, that alone makes me happy. Uh, sorry to tell you about two people that just came ashore, buddy, but uh, they are definitely back. So that's wonderful. Where? What is my aim? Is my aim the gym? We've really just been thrown into Kanto with no real direction or anything right now. We just got chucked here and we're just told to go ahead and figure it out, aren't we? I like that. Why, if it isn't Carlos, my goodness, I thought we lost you for good. I'm happy to see you in one piece. Oh, that's right, I almost forgot. Since I couldn't give this to you earlier, I want you to have it now. The Metal Co. Okay. We'll be staying in Vermilion for a short while, then we'll visit Saffron City. Why do you want to play again? Sure, if it'll make you move out of the way of that house so I can find out what's behind you. I'm a little bit curious. Uh, we also need to go ahead and box Glalie because I'm a big dum-dum and got my, my Glalie killed to a warp effect because I didn't just take out the Pokemon beside it first like I should have. Where am I putting you? What am I doing? I'm a little bit disoriented if you can't tell. <laughs> Alright, we're going to take Agron. Uh... Let's share a couple of weaknesses with Golem, but it should be fine. Let's have a quick look at the Zagron as well. Gentle Nature, not really what I want, but sure. Uh, has some good stats and IVs. Has Rock Head, which means that we can use Takedown reliably. Iron Tail, Protect and Iron Defense. That all seems pretty, pretty average. Nothing crazy about any of that. Can we give it Rock Slide or anything of the sort? Because that would be a nice increase in its damage output. It'd make me very happy. However, I don't remember what TMs we have. Oh, we have the punches. Can you learn any punches? Can I learn punches? I'm not against that. We can teach you Fire Punch and Ice Punch. They're always good coverage moves to have. I'm never going to click Iron Defense. I'm really not. Not on an Aggron, at least. Like, there are some Pokemon where boosting defense isn't that bad. Like, I think one of my personal favorites is Vaporeon with Acid Armor. I know it's a slightly different move, but it has the same effect. That's a fun set, especially if you give it Wish. And then it's just unkillable. And then everyone hates you because you start stalling. And yeah, you get the idea. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Iron Defense. We're never going to use that. We're never going to use Iron Defense. Instead, Leroy, you're going to get some aggressive moves. I'm going to turn you into a powerhouse right now, and everything is going to be gold. And it's already the highest level on my team, which uh, makes me a little bit worried. A sleeping Pokemon is lying in the middle of Route 12. It's a fantastic opportunity to get it. But how do you wake it up? Right? Right? I will never understand how it's a huge benefit to catch a sleeping Pokemon 
yet you can't catch the sleeping Snorlax. Instead, you have to wake it up, and then you can put it back to sleep to catch it. Wild. I am the fishing guru, the elder of the fishing bros. Do you happen to know Fisherman Wilton? No, but sure. He fishes on Route 44. He came through with an amazing tip on the phone. Thanks to him, I caught a whole lot of rare Pokemon. What day it was. Oh, so you're not going to give me a super rod. You're... Do I have, do I have the super rod? I might have the super rod. I genuinely don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Over many years, Diglett dug a large tunnel. That tunnel goes to a distant town. So we could go to Brock. We could. So you are from Johto. Allow me to give you a friendly suggestion. Some Pokemon must be awakened in different ways. Be careful. Right. That means that in this region, we have to wake things up with the Poker Flu, rather than using the radio card. That's all that means. The gym leaders here are quite strong, they won't be easy to defeat. There have been reports that the nefarious Pokemon thieves known as Team Rocket are in the area. If you run into them, call me right away. My name is Officer Jenny. Oh, you have to challenge the Battle Dome. Absolutely not. <laughs> Good luck, you're gonna need it. Absolutely not. Absolutely not doing anything. If that's like frontier points, I know that's Pokemon Emerald, but if I have to be, do anything to do with that, absolutely not. We're chomp, stomping land flat. Why is he doing it over here? That's not where he normally does it. You gonna tell me about your Rapidash? Race over 150 Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, Rapidash. Yeah, just, do you give me a wreck handy? You do, okay, right. That was all I went to him for. Wow. I'm glad that he has not changed. Do you know about the Magnet Train? It's a railway that goes from Golden World to Johto. Wait. What? Oh, in Johto. I thought it said Golden World to Johto, and I was gonna like, those are the same thing, but that makes a lot of sense. I need to teach Surf to a Pokemon to get to this gym, or I need to teach Cut to a Pokemon, and I really don't want to teach Surf to Gyarados. Oh, wait, we can just teach it to... Yeah, this works. And then we can just teach him uh, Fire Punch again once we're done. Sounds good to me. Okay. We're doing this to have a quick little scout. Oh, wait, first. Who are you? I want to go to the Battle Dome, but I've got to take care of this egg. Oh! I found that egg in Pallet Town. Take good care of it. That means... It's probably one of the stars. There's a slight chance it could be an Eevee. There's a slight chance it could be a Pikachu. But it's probably one of the stars. We have Mega Stones. If it's a Venusaur... I'm using it. If it's a Venusaur, it's coming onto the team instead of someone. I don't know who is going to be replaced for Venusaur, but if it's a, if this hatches into a healthy little Bulbasaur, I am absolutely going to use it. If it's a Charmander or a Squirtle, I probably won't use it. But we'll find out in the future. For now, that seems like a really good stopping point. Next episode, we'll go ahead, we'll check out the Vermilion Gym. Maybe see if Officer Jenny will move. If she does, then we potentially go to Brock as well. We'll see. For now, though, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!